In today's video, I am going to be asking 100 foreigners from countries all around the world to give me their pronunciation of this beautiful country's name. Taiwan. 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 But not just yet. We'll get to that later because first of all, not only do I want to explain the reason for making this video, I also have a message from today's video sponsor. And today's video sponsor is us. Yes, Alan and Prozzi have started a new channel, new podcast, weekly updates on our life, sharing hardcore stories. Yeah, everything and everything in between. So if you are interested in signing up to our podcast, you can go to my Patreon or Prozzi's Patreon or channel memberships. Prozzi's in the process of signing up to... I'm in the process of signing up for YouTube's premium plan. Yes, and if you're interested in hearing a bit more about our lives, we are going to have weekly podcasts sitting here on the sofa, in the pub, in my house, sharing some of our more secretive, uh, untold stories that cannot go onto the main channel. I just told an absolute banger story about mm. suing someone. And I told a banger story about getting sued. Not by him though. <laughs> Two different stories. With regards to my Patreon and my channel memberships, then there'll be a special tier in the channel memberships and on Patreon. So go, uh, go check it out. Uh, we love you. Back to my video. So yes, thanks to Prozzi and Alan for sponsoring the video. They really do seem like a couple of good, wholesome, fun guys entertainment for all the family so i definitely recommend getting involved on their podcast journey but yes back to today's video and it might be a short quick video but there's just something i want to clear up after receiving many many hateful comments about my pronunciation of this beautiful country's name taiwan 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 yes i have decided to finally speak out about this hugely contentious topic and explain why my pronunciation is the way it is. And one of the points that I really want to make is that how boring would life be if we were all the same? And how boring would language be if every word was pronounced the same by every person around the world? Taiwan, Taiwan, Taiwan. So in order to demonstrate this and demonstrate the many differences in pronunciation and the nuances of language that maybe have affected my pronunciation of this country's name, uh, I thought I'd gather a few different examples from people all around the world, YouTubers, friends, family members, random people that I could find online, and hopefully this will demonstrate my point. So without further ado, let's cut straight to the compilation that I've made. 100 people pronouncing the word... Taiwan. 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 Yes, for those of you that are still here after what is probably the weirdest minutes of your YouTube lives, I hope these clips prove my main point, and that is that there are, of course, many different ways to pronounce many different words, and usually there are many different factors affecting the way people speak and their accents and the way they sound. As I have mentioned in a previous video, my accent has been strongly influenced not only by teaching American English in Taiwan for 12 years but also living with my ex-wife for many years speaking Afrikaans and also not forgetting that I come from the northwest of England a place that is renowned for its very special very turbier accents hey, 
Rodrigo, de O camarada vai te olhar pra cá, que eu vou ir up, hein? Que brilho, você está me vendo, tchê? And the social stop me money. I've got now for the kiddies. Oh, yeah. Where I come from, when we see an A in the middle of a word, that A is pronounced A. A short A, not a long A. We don't say grass, we say grass. We don't say path, we say path. And for this country's name, I also give it a short A, and we end up with Taiwan. Although, having said this, I did ask my mum's opinion on my pronunciation of the country's name in a previous video. Right? Do I say it like you say it? Oh. <laughs> oh, okay, so my mom is one of my critics too now. So yeah, there you can see my mom has taken the side of my critics and also thinks that my pronunciation of the country's name is a little bit weird. But as the old Chinese idiom goes, every radish has its hole. That's not right, right? <laughs> Uh, I think a more suitable idiom would probably be something like Elong Jiu Zong, uh, meaning that everything has its own style and every person has their own thinking and way of doing things. But having said that, my dad, being the absolute bro that he is, totally backed me up when I asked him the same question. Do you think I said that was his spot on Taiwan? Taiwan. Nice one. Dad, now before I go, there's a couple of things that I have to confess. First of all, I don't think it was a hundred people in the video, but 100 foreigners in the title is a lot more attractive and more clickable than 75 foreigners. So if you want to, you can by all means go back, check the video, count how many people there were and let me know in the comment section. I was far too lazy to count the final number. And while you're there, going back to check the number, you can also Try your best to spot the imposter. Yes, I included one Taiwanese friend in the people pronouncing the country's name. So please go back, timestamp it in the comment section if you think you can spot the Taiwanese imposter among the foreigners. And one final question I have for you guys is, do you actually care or not? Does it offend you the way I say the country's name? Does it, does it grind your gears? Oh, how? Thank you. Wow, okay, let me just finish this video. So yeah, as I was saying, do you actually care or not? Is it something that's bothered you before? Have you noticed it at all? Uh, is it worthy of a video in itself? I thought I'd just answer a few of my critics because it's getting a bit too much now. Every video where I pronounce the country's name, people are commenting, can I say the country's name correctly? And as far as I know, I'm saying it just the way I say it. As you've just noticed, my beef noodles has arrived, so time to wrap the video up. If you have anything to add to the discussion, then the comment section is down there for you. And once again, thanks to Prozzy and Alan for sponsoring this video. Go check out their Patreon and channel membership if you want to get involved, support us and get a little bit more uh, information and real look into our lives here in Taiwan. Other than that, time for me to eat. So have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time in my life in Taiwan. Peace. Bye bye.